The new Capcom Fighting Collection is available for most platforms right now, and with it, a great variety of games from the Capcom's Vault of Classics. This opportunity gives a new generation of possible fans to experience the greatness of these classical titles. One of these titles goes by the name of Darkstalkers, Capcom's sketched out idea of a fighting game based on classic movie monsters. This game has appeared to be asleep for some time, but not for long. Here in the Street Fighterverse, we wanted to narrow it down and give you a brief biography and gameplay of our favorite Darkstalkers characters. These are the best picks we think are great for you. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Street Fighterverse. We will start today's episode with the Darkstalkers' original protagonist and one of the series' flagship characters. He is what Ryu is to the Street Fighter franchise, the blood-seeking vampire, Dmitry Maximov. Dmitry Maximov is a villainous and power-hungry vampire who, like Dracula, sees humanity as an inferior race and only cares for their blood. His favorite type of blood is from innocent and beautiful girls, who seem to be loyal to him. Dmitry Maximov lives in a castle deep within the mountains of Romania that only appears during a full moon. The castle is named after the owner of the land, Selsrich. Roughly 100 years ago, he had challenged Burial Ansland. He lost the battle and was exiled from Mackay to the human world with his castle. When he returned to Mackay, he found out that Burial had died and his daughter Morrigan had become heir to the Anslan family and the ruler of Mackay. As Dimitri prepared himself to challenge Morrigan, he and his castle were sucked into the Majicheng by Jeddah. Believing that defeating Jeddah was an important step, he went off to face Jeddah. Dimitri is one of the most dangerous vampires in the Darkstalker series, second to only Dracula himself. He is able to turn people into vampires, like himself for control, summon supernatural bats to attack his foes, transform into a vampire version of himself or a small bat, fly throughout the night, as well as turn his opponents into women, both human or supernatural alike. Dimitri's fighting style can be compared to a powered up evil Shoto version of Ken or Ryu. Dimitri is somewhat infamous in fighting game circles for his special attack known as Midnight Bliss. As he approaches the opponent while holding a rose, if he reaches the opponent, he will bow and the target will transform into a female, if they are male. He then holds up the victim, draining her blood until she is dry. Afterwards, he blasts the opponent away and takes distance while blowing a kiss. The character's handy swordsmanship and overall fighting style made him a high-ranking character in his debut in Night Warrior's Darkstalker's Revenge. Donovan Bane is a dampfer, a half-vampire, half-human, half-breed. During his childhood, something evil caused a vampire in him to awaken, and as a result, he killed everyone in his village, including his mother, and drank their blood. He cursed his blood and went out looking for peace. He devoted his goal to Buddhism, justice, and perfection. With the help of monks and ninjas in Asia, during one of his travels, he met a girl named Anita with supernatural powers. Her heartless, empty eyes told him that she was the same as he. Wanting to save Anita's soul, he set off with her to hunt all the dark stalkers in the world who attacked the innocent. As he traveled with her, he found the dialect blade that gave off supernatural powers in the Tibetan mountains that he could sense. This sword granted Donovan more power than ever before but he also had to use large beads to contain this power as well. Using the powers of the fire, lightning, and ice spirits, he hunts the dark stalkers as a dark hunter. Donovan uses a torturing device called an Iron Maiden to steal any dark stalkers he hunts. Inside is also the severed head to the doll that Anita carries. Donovan's primary attacks utilize both his martial arts training and his large demon slaying sword, Dilek. His psychokinetic abilities allow him to levitate Dilek off the ground and can even ride it through the air. He can also ensnare opponents with his psychokinesis, suspend them in the air, and slam them on the ground as seen in his grab attack. His large prayer beads, or japamalas, can be used as a barrier or can be swung towards enemies. When they are swung, they give off an aura of blue and white energy, with both Dilek and his prayer beads, Donovan can summon gods from Buddhist and Hindu mythology, though the wind god in the press of death attack appears to be from Greek mythology, to fight alongside him. He can also temporarily revert to his true form as a dark stalker, a dark-skinned human-like demon with yellow hair and wings. He flies at his enemy and emits a large ball of lightning against his foe in this state. Our last character is the current head of Anslan Castle. He first appeared in Darkstalkers The Night Warriors, 
She is an anti-hero and main protagonist alongside Dmitry Maximov. Morrigan Ensland is one of the most popular female characters in the game, and other crossovers. She is a succubus, a human demon with the power to steal the souls of those she seduces. Morrigan is the youngest and adopted daughter of Belial Ansland, the ruler of the Makai realm. When she was born, Morrigan was extremely powerful, so much to that Belial sealed away part of her power, one third in himself to be returned upon his death, and one third in a pocket dimension, which eventually became a being of its own, a younger succubus named Lilith. Being known for being born as an S-class demon, Morrigan possesses a vast number of powers and unique skills and traits, some ranging from teleporting, flying, reshaping her wings into spikes or blades. She can conveniently form a buckler out of her wings to protect herself from oncoming attacks if needed be. Many of Morrigan's attacks are strong and can be extremely lethal to her enemies. Utilizing her own way of hand-to-hand, -hand, she can do traditional punches and kicks and can use mystic abilities like soul attacks against her adversaries, such as the Soul Fist. Some of her other traits are accelerated healing, speed, and the ability to create a physical mirror image of herself to aid her in battle. She can use some of her bats as well, which are a part of her outfit and can utilize them to swarm her enemies. Some of Morrigan's unique powers is the ability to change clothes and hair in an instant, and she can also steal energy from her adversaries by kissing them. Morrigan is able to sense the magical energy inside a person and can usually see how powerful they are. She also has high flexes, being able to dodge things quickly. Morrigan's stamina isn't invincible, however, she is able to withstand a lot of damage from enemies, and usually any attacks that are manipulative or spell-related are nullified by her own natural abilities. Here are some of the best characters from the Darkstalkers franchise that we might think would be of your interest. Be sure to check them out and have fun while playing. Hopefully here in the Street Fighterverse, we gave you a glimpse of these amazing characters. So what is your favorite Darkstalker character? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new theories and info. Thank you for watching. This has been your Street Fighter host. Welcome to the center stage. Discord server. There you can talk with us, chat about current events going on in Street Fighter, information, theories, and lore. We'll leave the link in the description box below. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and becoming part of the Street Fighter community. We want to thank you for your positive comments towards our channel because it only habilitates us to grow even more. From the Street Fighterverse crew, we thank you.